Hey, you too. I want to go into a little bit of pipe forensics now. Oh, well, let me make this a new series. I don't know what to call it though. I'm either stuck in between um, just calling you to the pipe forensics or science of a good pipe. But uh, this series implies on how to find a nice, how to find, how to, how to, how to get, uh, looking at the telltale signs of a good smoking estate pipe. And now I'm smoking this bad boy I just cleaned up, um, I just cleaned up yesterday. This. Probably one of the, the best pipe I own. Well, actually, just the best smoking pipe I own, I guess. It's, even though I've only smoked it once, it's already becoming my, my favorite. This is a, um, it's a Dover Deluxe. It says Dover Deluxe here. And on the other side, the Maker. It says Leonard Portland, which I don't know if Leonard Portland is the maker or um, the city where it's made. So if you know anything about these, so if you know, so if you know anything about these pipes, please let me know. I want to know more about them. But anyway. There are many sides to tell what is a good pipe. Now there's a difference between a, a pipe that someone has loved and cherished versus a pipe that has been abused. First of all, depending on first of all, just depending on how well the pipe would maintain. This pipe I can tell was loved very much by the previous owner, seeing there is a hole chewed through at the bottom of the stem. I haven't filled it yet, but that's just because I want to show you guys. Even with that hole, this is still a great smoking pipe. But, um... This is a fairly clean pipe. It's, um... It's not out of round very much. It's not out of round. When I got it, it was not out of round. But it did have a fairly decent amount of cake inside, not too much. Enough. It wasn't reamed badly, but you can tell that it, the bottom of the bowl has been worn away just by all the times it's been smoked. These are pretty clear signs of just how much someone has enjoyed the pipe. They've maintained it to an extent. But they did use it enough to wear out some of it, chew a hole through the bottom of the stem and the bottom of the bowl. But anyway, that means nothing. This is still a good pipe. My Captain Black, which is something I usually, which is something I, it's just a standard smoke for me. Whenever I get a new pipe, I want to try it out. The first thing I smoke in it is Captain Black. Why? Because it's a standard, because um, I see it as a standard. Well, that's just in, from from my experience. From my experience, if it's if Captain Black smokes good out of it, then pretty much anything will. And 
nine out of ten times it was I was correct. I mean, in some instances that this does not work, but for the most part, it, it well, for me, for the most part, it's fairly true. And I don't really um, select many of my pipes. I do have some that I specifically smoke, that I have to have some that I smoke only specific types of tobacco out of. But for the most part, I don't, uh, I don't generalize. I smoke everything out of it and then I want to clue what smokes good out of it. Occasionally, everything smells good out of it. No, I think. But anyway. So, I just told you some of the signs of a good pipe. It's kind of whole chewed out the bottom of the stem. It's worn out from the bottom, but it's not abused. I think I will do some more light videos on this later. I just haven't been buying many pipes lately. Seeing as after I spent a lot of, seeing as I, after I bought that red black pipe, I really did slow down. In fact, I haven't bought any new pipes after I bought that red black pipe. This pipe actually bought it two months ago and I have not cleaned it. I did not clean it until yesterday. Well, actually uh, this week. I didn't clean it till this week. Because yesterday I finished cleaning it but I actually started it a few days before you know, to treatments and everything. Anyway. Well, I'm home now. I gotta put this out and put it away. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. I hope you enjoy my new series that I'm going to start, and uh, I hope to comment. Do some more shots if you didn't get it. It's not coming in. It says Dover Deluxe there. It says Leonard Portland on that side, 35. Bull. Bull. <laughs> Alright. Farewell for now, my friend.